Hey guys, Captain Compost 123 here. Back again, a year later, again, with another video. Just got a hair up my ass and felt like making a video. So, I'm going to make this video on my uh, current EDC setup. I'm going to go over what's in my pockets. I'm going to go over what I carry on me in a, in a external bag. Uh, and then also what I would carry if I didn't have very much time to gather anything. Um, so, let's get to it, I guess. Pocket number one. And here I have... Get it all out of here. It's not that much, but it's a lot of random assorted items. We have lip balm. We have a small Swiss Army knife, one of the real little baby ones. Sorry about the lighting and how crappy it is I'm in my basement. I don't really have anywhere to shoot or remodeling our house, but anyway, you can kind of see that, right? The little baby, itty bitty one. You can see it next to my finger. One of the little Victorinoxes. I have a safety pin with some hair ties attached inside it, just so one, they don't get lost, and two, it's a safety pin, so it's intrinsically useful. I have long hair, so that makes it even more useful with my long hair. I have 50 cents in dimes, which is one, there's a vending machine at work, and two, you know, I live in the city, so I might need to park at a meter or something. I have a lighter and then around it, I don't know if you can see it right here, right there is a uh, little bit of inner tube wrapped around it. In this pocket, we have a K-Bar Warthog. Let's see if I can get you to... There it is. K-Bar Warthog. I've not seen any really any reviews on it, but I rather like it. Fairly cheap knife, but it's effective good at what it does, and I've never had really any problems with it. Uh, just my keys. Self-explanatory. Got my uh, wallet and my bank stuff. Uh, yeah. Money. And that's it. Um, then in this pocket I've got a little razor knife. I work at a warehouse, so um, yeah. Got a little razor knife to open boxes and stuff. Then my watch, and then I've got a little silly band on. But that's it. That's it for my pockets. And then sometimes I'll have a sharpie and stuff in this one. And then I have my uh, EDC pouch, which is just. It's a fanny pack, that's what it is. Um, inside, we have a number of different items that are very useful. We'll start from the outside of this pouch. In there we have some hand sanitizer. We have some just assorted pills. They're just like aspirin and Aleve and Tylenol and different stuff like that. Then we've got... Actually that's it for that pouch. It's rather small. In the next pouch we have two different things. A duct tape wrapped around cards. I've got just another Swiss Army knife. This one's real flat. Uh, yeah, self-explanatory there. I got a lighter, a little mini bic. Uh, we've got a candle, a screwdriver, which is just it's a flat head and it's completely made out of metal. And I've had that forever, and I love that thing. Um, in the back pocket here, we've got. So um, we got a sewing kit right there. We got some tissues, uh, glasses, uh, cleaning cloth things. It's a two pack. I wear glasses, <laughs> so that's kind of necessary. I've got two pens. And that's it for that pouch. Now through the meat of the pouch here. I've got a first aid kit, a real small one, but it's got good good stuff in it. Cliff bar. I love cliff bars, so I have one. I have a memo pad. 
writing pad. I have a red bandana, mostly for a first aid situation if you know somebody's bleeding profusely, myself or somebody else. Um, a pretty large trash bag. I think it's a 30 gallon, not 50 gallon, but a 30 gallon. I've got about oh, 25 feet of cord. It's not paracord, but it's really strong. I think it's clothesline. Zippo. I've got a uh, multi-tool. It's a Leatherman Wave. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, you know what a Leatherman Wave looks like. So, anyhow. Uh, and then I got a poncho. Just a nice little one dollar poncho in case I need it or you know, whatever. And that's it for that. That's my whole uh, pouch there. It's a just a fanny pack, like I said. So uh, just wear it around your waist. No big deal. And then uh, if I didn't have much time, if I came home, shit hits the fan, I'd probably grab my bug out bag. If for some reason I had to ditch my bug out bag, I'd carry this. And this is just a uh, one of those carry pouches for your water bottle. So on the side here, I've got some tent pegs for um, like my poncho. I use those for my poncho on the front. It's just a carry beer right there. Uh, and then inside, it's just a uh, got a clean canteen. And I want to get a nesting cup for that, and then a spork, one of the real good light my fire sporks, you know. And then uh, in this pouch, just all the food items. I've got some sugar, a couple pieces of uh, aluminum foil. I've got some hot sauces, some instant coffee, drink mixes, tea, stuff like that. Oh, and this is the hot sauces. Lots and lots of hot sauces. You need some flavor for your food, you know? That's it. If I had to ditch my bug out bag, it'd be this setup. And I think I'd do fairly well with it, at least until I could resupply somewhere. But that's it. That's it for me. Uh, I'll probably be back in like another year with another uh, another go around of what I got. Take it easy.